Hey everybody, Big Yanklevich here, podcaster, author, and carnivore, and uh, it is day 30 of the 365-day challenge, which means it is December 28th, and um, I didn't <laughs> do the fasting that I said I was going to do today. Um, I probably should have. I don't know. <laughs> it's weird. You get in a habit of eating uh, at a certain time, doing certain things, and you just kind of do it. And I did that this morning. I just got up and then I ate some stuff and then went, oh, okay, well, I probably shouldn't have done that because I was, oh, was going to fast, but I guess I'm not now. Um, but uh, I think I need to do something. I've got some uh, some digestive issues and uh, I think it all stems from dairy my Achilles heel. Uh, I need to cut out the dairy and probably up my fat intake uh, if I want to be happy. My stomach just doesn't feel good. Um, but yeah, I'll have to uh, have to deal with that. Uh, I have to take care of that. I'll have to stop with the dairy. I don't know. I, I don't know how I do it. Um, at the very least, I'm not eating other stuff. So there's that, you know. Uh, it's helping me stick with what I should be sticking with, um, which is good. That's a good thing. I think I really need to up my meat, though. I'm eating way too much cheese and stuff like that. I'm not eating enough meat. Um, and I don't know if I even eat enough food, truthfully. But uh, I need to really up the meat. I think most people say they eat like two pounds of meat a day. I don't know that I even come close to that, so... Probably need to really up it. So maybe I'll do that. You can get those big chubs of ground beef for, I think it's five pounds for like 10 bucks, which is, you know, that's pretty good. It's a pound of meat for two bucks. So if I, you know, two pounds a day, that's only four bucks a day for, to feed a monstrous dude like me. So that's, uh, that's probably good. I'll have to start working on that. Anyways, uh, I'll talk to you guys next time. We'll see how things go. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on Big Anklevich on Health.